So the next thing that we're going to do then is to we're going to take a logo image and we're going to put it in the header and then beside that we are going to place a navigation menu and then we'll add to that a search bar or a search form and then finally to that we'll add the Facebook like and tweet buttons similar to what we just did with Christian. So in order to put a logo beside a navigation menu of course we want these things to be side by side. So I'm going to make my left header area, we're not going to specify a height, we'll just specify a width. Make left header area 325 pixels wide and hit save. Now when you're configuring the header area you have a choice in this area called thesis defaults and if you choose to retain the thesis defaults in this header area what will happen is it will no longer be widgetized now what will happen is the thesis default stuff will go there instead so if we save this again and we come back over and look at this and refresh it you can see we've maintained our 325 pixel width but it's no longer a widgetized area so it gets the name of the blog and the uh, tagline which is the default thesis behavior and now all we have is a right header area if we come over and take a look at our widgets see the left header area is gone and only the right header area widgets remains so you have that ability to retain thesis default behavior if you wish We'll come back over here and we're going to remove the thesis default behavior because we're not going to use thesis defaults in this side. We're just going to insert our own logo image. And we've given it a width. We're not going to mess with margin and padding or background or text alignment at this point. So we just hit save. And then we'll go ahead and add our logo image. Now I'm going to come over to the widgets panel. And I'm going to add the logo image using a uh, text widget. So just grab a text widget and drag it over here. And then I'm going to use the sandbox page to create the HTML for that text widget. So if I come over to all pages and then go to my sandbox page. Now let's see, we're just going to delete all this stuff. Now I've already put this logo image in my media library so all I have to do is select add image come to the media library this is the image I want to add so I hit show now I want this image to be the full size so I'll go ahead and do that I want it to float to the left I've already given it the title go back to our home page and so then what we're going to do is just make sure that the URL here just links to the home page. Right now what it does is it links to the to the image itself. But we'll go ahead and delete that. And so now it's just going to link to headerhorizontalwidgets.com or dot thesis toolbox.com, which is the home page of the site. This this title up here will become the tooltip for our image. And then we can add some alternate text. And I'm just going to add to this, to the alternate text here, let's see, tools for customizing your thesis theme. Now the, actually not tools, I think I'm going to say plugins. The reason I'm using this text widget is because the text widget lets me put the image in itself so I can use both a title and a tagline I'm sorry a title and a uh, an alt text and the alt text can be helpful for SEO and so that's why I've chosen to do it this way So we just select insert it into post now I've got all my HTML here that I need for displaying that image so I'm gonna copy that come back over to the text widget and paste it hit save back over to the page and refresh it and now my image is right here. If I hover over that image, it says go back to our home page. If I come over to a different page and click on it, 
it takes me back to the home page so it's a clickable banner with a nice little title plus it's got a nice little SEO alt text associated with it let's see uh, so yes Angie we'll take a look at your code here before the day is over with okay so we have the image set in its place now what we're going to do is add the take the navigation menu and put it down here beside it so that's in the right header area and under thesis defaults what we're going to say is place the thesis nav menu in this header area that will automatically remove it from above or below the header and will automatically place it in this section and once we've checked that box we have a new dialog box that shows up called menu settings and inside of menu settings you have the choice of where you want this to show up and we're going to place it at the bottom of that header area and we'll leave the rest of these things blank for the moment and just hit save and then if we come back over to our site and hit refresh now what we have is the navigation menu placed down here below this widget area inside the header so now at the moment we don't want this to display and so the easiest way to make this blue box go away is simply to drag a blank text widget there now we'll add stuff to this text widget here as we go along but for the moment we're just going to add a blank text widget there and if we come back over and refresh it now nothing is showing this is showing up at the top of the seemingly at the top of the header but that's only because there's nothing above it any longer so in order to move this down we're going to use margin in order to bring this down to the right spot and actually we're also going to go ahead and add a background image to this and so we're going to start using some of the tools that the plugin has in order to allow us to arrange this stuff